How was the active focus finding? Did that take a lot of time? Uh, no, that was that happened straight away. Hmm. Because when I was a child, I used to like to look at those sort of 3D images, you know, those, those sort of images that you look at and you sort of like focus on it. And it has become like three dimensional, if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And uh, the, the way I was looking at it and the way I was performing the active focus, it was basically almost the same, you know. So right. because I had that experience with those uh, 3D images and I suddenly remember you know how I used to do it like 20 years ago or 30 years ago you know, when I was like a child and get that active focus pretty quickly. Can you explain that for people who are not familiar with it like how you did the 3D thing and how that related to you finding active focus? I just looked at the picture and I almost like tried to look through the picture. Hmm. Yeah like almost the 3D tried things. To... Yeah. Sorry? What did you say? Like the 3D things where you just not you don't yeah, actually exactly. focus on yeah. it right? Yeah. No, no, exactly. I tried to look through it and suddenly then at some point, you know, the eyes sort of focus. It was almost like the eyes come together and sort of focus. And it's sort of hard to explain, but you have to just look through it, through the image. That's an interesting one. I've never heard that one. I like that one. That's a good one. Yeah. Active focus is such a abstract sort of thing that you can't give somebody the here's how you get to it right like so some people but i really even have like two, two ways of performing active focus one is that like to to sort of like uh looking through it which then can lead to a bit of like the eyes sort of converging mm -hmm. you know which is then probably not that good for the eyes but then i started and that was like that happened like two years later i just basically closed my eyes and open and blink and open them and then i I already see the things uh, like in focus. Yeah. Good I have like two ways. I have like two ways of getting into active focus and I use whichever works for the time being. Minus six kind of sucks, right? Like it's, yeah. the image is heavily compressed. It was even minus six and a half. So yeah, it's better with contacts, but with glasses, it will be really awful. Like the compression of the image is just really high at that point. And then you need, high index lenses that are expensive and it's just it becomes a real handicap you know at that level and it was yeah. even my, my eyes were so bad that uh i had to wear contact lenses and i couldn't for example drive car uh with glasses because uh, my peripheral vision was obviously blurry and i just couldn't deal with it and it was such a big difference between you know the vision through the glasses and between the vision that the sort of like the, the, the peripheral vision without glasses without any correction and I just couldn't deal with it so I had to there was also part of the reason why I you know was wearing contact lenses you know the whole time because I had to drive a car you know and that was much better with contact lenses but now I'm at the point where I could I can drive you know car uh, with with my glasses on and it's no problem at all yeah nice that's nice yeah. Huge difference. Like a minus six point something to minus three is a, is is more than just three doctors. Like it's a huge difference. This and lots of other full short-sided podcast episodes available in the Back to 2020 member section, along with hundreds of pro topic videos I made over the years, access to a 90,000 plus monthly visits member forum, and tons of other resources to help you on your journey to get back to 2020.